Hi everyone and welcome to day 10. Happy Friday. And today we're gonna to be playing a game. So you need, you don't need a partner, but it's fun if you have somebody with you. So you wanna come here, Pepper? Do you wanna be my partner? Sit. Good girl. So we're gonna be playing this game. Now you don't have to have this at home. It's called Creatures. It says one deck, infinite possibilities. I love to do this as a little brain break, as a way to loosen up. So basically what this is, is a deck of cards that has a bunch of different things, different subjects, different uh, small subjects, medium subjects, details that have to be added. Where does the animal live? So what habitat? And so you have to randomly flip these cards over and decide. So the creature that we're gonna make is gonna live in a school or a playground. Then it's gonna be the small creature you're combining is a grasshopper. The medium size is a jellyfish. And our large, where did the large go? Our detail is fire breathing. So we are going to create a fire breathing jellyfish grasshopper that lives at a school or a playground. So Pepper, come here. Let's show them how we do this. So we're gonna play, we're gonna lay those cards out and then we're gonna start drawing them together. Now, you can either follow along with my prompt, I'll show a few more options, or you can create your own by maybe making up your own deck, writing down a bunch of different animals, writing down a bunch of different details, bunch of different habitats or locations, and then draw from your own deck. So let's get started. So here we have the game set up, but I, remember, even if you don't have this game, you can create it yourself by simply taking a piece of paper, folding up. If you already have index cards, that works too. If you wanna be able to do this game on your own, then what you can simply do is take index cards, cut up a piece of paper, and assign um, someone or do it as a group. Think about small animals per one of your decks. So a starfish could be one. Uh, a snail. And this could even be a great activity to do with a younger child, thinking about small animals, maybe a mouse. So that deck is complete and you could write on it small. Small animals or subjects. Now we go to medium size, so you could think about brainstorm together. What are some medium animals? So skunk, I just saw one the other day. Thank goodness it went the other way. A rabbit, see those all in the backyard making Pepper go crazy. Um, what else have I been seeing? Um, seagulls. And then large animals. Again, same conversation. This could be a great project right here is creating the game. Uh, Stegosaurus. Uh, another one could be a giraffe. And maybe you make this game after, I think the zoo is doing live videos all day. So you could watch the zoo and come up with some of these, uh, maybe a zebra. And then details. These are silly things, silly things to add into your animals. Uh, maybe you could make your animal has to have wheels or maybe, um, webbed feet like a duck. Um, let's think of one more detail. Maybe four eyes. The sillier the battle, better for these details. So we could write details. We could write large animals. And medium. And the last thing is habitat or where this animal lives. 
And again, silly. Think all different places. A video game. My students love that one. We do that one a lot. Video game. Or school. Or your kitchen. And then you flip those over. You can write habitat. So there's a real simple way of how to make your own deck if you want to be able to do this on your own. So there's a few different ways you can play this game. I'm going to be using these cards instead of the ones we made uh, because I like that they have the image on it. But again, even if you make your own deck, you could still go online, look up an image or go into a book and see like what kids books do you have around. You can maybe see examples. So our small creature is an ant. Our medium is a jellyfish. Our large is a zebra. Detail is a time traveler. I'm not sure how we're gonna incorporate that, but that's okay. And it lives at school or at a playground. So you can take any elements of these that you want. If your student really doesn't like jellyfish or you don't like jellyfish, that's fine. You could decide I'm gonna combine these two animals and I don't like the time traveler, but I will have it in a location. So I will draw it somewhere. So you could pick and choose out of these. There's nothing saying that you have to combine all three animals and do the detail and you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. So there's a few different ways we can do it. We can do what I like to call quick draw, which is where you do this as quick as you can in 60 seconds so you set a timer for that or you can do a masterpiece and that can take as long as you want so th th there's that way there's also some other ways to play the game which is round robin and that's where each person so like let's say you want to turn this into your friday night game as a family after everyone's done working you can each person takes two minutes and then you pass it to the next person and they add two minutes. So maybe the first person starts drawing an ant and they do it for two minutes and then the second person starts drawing the jellyfish and you go around. So that's one way to do round robin. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. You can do it independently by yourself or you can do it with your family. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how I would do this if I was taking my time and doing it alone. So I would decide that I'm gonna try to include everything, except I'm not sure how, right? Still, I don't know how I'm gonna do the time traveler. So I'm gonna start by doing a light outline. This might take me five minutes, and I'm gonna think about what parts. I really like these tentacles of the jelly. I like the stripes of the zebra, and maybe I'll do the body of the ant. So I know this, that I'm gonna do an ant with the stripes, and maybe instead of legs, I'm gonna do these tentacles. So I'm doing a light outline. And with younger students, I normally don't even give them the option for all of these things. So you could just pick maybe, how can you combine a jellyfish and an ant? And that's it. Or you can even do cartoon characters that they like. How could you combine two cartoon characters? And again, you're going, drawing light. I tell my students this all the time. I'm a broken record. Draw light till you get it right. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes at this stage. And remember, you're creating something new. So now I'm going to start to go in and do those stripes. I'm not going to worry about coloring them yet because I can use any kind of medium I want for this. Okay. 
and you can do some research, look up what do these animals look like so you're getting it, getting some accurate details in there. Maybe I'll do that snout that it has to make it a little bit more zebra. So there I got my zebra with my ant. Now I'm gonna do those cool tentacle looking. And you can also change your mind. I'm realizing that maybe they're not as cool as I think they are. And there I have my tentacles. Now I want you to start thinking about the setting. Now, I just threw this animal in the middle of the page. I should have given a little more thought about where do I want it. Uh, but maybe this school is underground. I'm thinking kind of like SpongeBob. So I'm gonna put in, oh, you know what? I don't like that. I'm gonna do a hallway. He's standing in a hallway. Actually seems like he's floating in the hallway. There's lockers going down the side. Now I'm doing a very simple one point perspective means all my lines go to this dot here in the back to show space. Remember, this is a quick drawing. You can do better. Maybe these were lockers. Maybe it's actually a door to classroom. Maybe there's little bubbles coming out because he's underwater. Think about your landscape. Now you can start going in with color pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you want to start adding those details to your background, to your insect or your creature, and have fun with it. Be silly. If you're doing this the game where you take two minutes and you're, the person you're with takes two minutes, then you could have all these supplies out and kind of be a little more loose with it. It's Friday, let's have some fun and see what we can create. Again, remember, we don't wanna be stressed out by this. We wanna have a good time. Remember, this is just one option. I don't wanna you know, finish this because I want to see what you create. So I'm actually gonna give you a couple other options just to have you start to think. So we have these. Well, let's flip over some extra cards. So you can see like the sky's the limit here and all you can you know pause it once I have all these flipped or take a screenshot these are some ideas oh look at that it's like our for one of our second video that we did the superheroes so here we go can we see all those let's make sure So just to go through them real quick, scorpion, porcupine, walrus, uh, the detail is 10 legs, habitat, sports, stadium, another habitat, school, we, we talked about all these. So centipede, pug, sea turtle, turning these ideas into a superhero, and mountains as the background. So these are just some ideas. This is where you can really brainstorm. That's another whole aspect of this project is coming up with your own things to mix together. So I hope you had fun with this game and I can't wait to see what kind of creatures you guys create. Thank you so much for playing with us today. I hope you had a great time. 
experimenting, laughing together, because again, we don't want to take this too seriously. We want to take art as a time to relax, enjoy, have fun with one another. There's you know you can do this game even without that this deck that's what i love about it is that you can create your own ideas your own deck of cards it's a wonderful thing to if you you know your little board is raining outside one day play this game so i hope you had a good time uh like comment subscribe i really appreciate it. please always pass this along you know me i always want everyone creating art every day so thank you for joining me for Art with Miss Choate on this wonderful Friday. Bye.